So, recently I've been playing a game called Scarlet Nexus. Uh, so this game is a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, I would say that it's very similar to games like Nier uh, or Persona. So if you like those games, this game could be... Yeah, it's, it's like a blend between the two, I would say. Um, and so if you like these those type of games, you probably enjoy this one. Uh, the setting is pretty interesting, the graphics are pretty good, the, f uh, the animations are good. Uh, the combat is it's okay, I guess, yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, and so, yeah, overall you, um, you advance in chapters, you can uh, talk with your friends, you end up getting more teammates, uh, you get to develop your character, there's like a um, there's like a skill point thing, kind of like in most RPGs, so it doesn't really stray off very far from what we usually see in these type of games, uh, and so yeah, it's not a bad game, but it's not what I expected from it. Uh, I would say that it, it as a matter of fact, I, uh, the game uh, near Automata, it's a much better game in almost every regard. And I, it's probably kind of unfair to hold this game to those standards. Um, but I know they're, they're different things. Uh, it's just this game it's very repetitive like in most cases what you're gonna end up doing is you do a mission in one area and you're just like smashing a monster until you break the there, there's like a like a yellow bar underneath the the HP bar and you you do that and then you you do a special on the monster uh, it's all you ever do, you know, and I don't know, like, I just don't feel that special connection with this game. I feel like that's all you ever do, and, like, I, 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 I tried my best to finish the game, and somehow I just, I just fell out of it, like, it, and, and that's the reason why I, I decided to hold on the review, because I wanted to finish it. Uh, but I decided not to and just do the review uh, regardless so yeah that's basically how it goes and so uh, in between missions you can uh, the, you, there's some uh, standby phases I think they're called uh, and you get to basically I guess quote-unquote chill and talk to your teammates and out of that, uh, you can uh, strengthen your bonds, and I think this is probably like the best aspect of the game. Um, it, it does remind me of Persona, which is kind of like leveling up your your links with your with with the people around you, uh, and that makes them stronger in battle, and it makes you, in return, stronger in battle. Uh, so there's six levels to each of your friends. And every level kind of gives you, um, kind of gives you uh, an extended version of their ability. Uh, and sometimes, like, like for example, like complete immunity to uh, to fire damage uh, or things like that. So yeah, it's 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 pretty interesting, I guess. But it's really nothing new, and all you're doing is just giving them gifts over and over, just so you level them up I guess um, and every time that you kill an enemy you get a bit of like like uh, materials and then out of that you can craft better weapons uh, and you can also craft accessories and things like that but there's really nothing special uh, to do and there's cosmetics but they're freaking stupid at least in my opinion it's not I mean, there's a bajillion of them on top of that, and they're the same accessory, just a different color most of the times. 
so I I don't know like I just don't find it amusing it's just it's freaking lame in my opinion um, and so yeah my recommendation it would be to just go play something else uh, either you play Persona if you like Persona uh, if you played it Persona 4, I recommend Persona 5 if you haven't played it. If you played 5 and you play, you haven't played 4, uh, now um, Persona 4 Golden, I think it's on Steam. Uh, and it's a, they're, they're much better games in general. They have a m much more intriguing story. In Scarlet Nexus, I ended up skipping a lot of the stories because they're super redundant and like nothing ever happens. And most of the characters in Scarlet Nexus, the problem with this game is that, I mean, you have two main characters, and you got Yuito, and then you got Kasane, and Kasane is basically as boring as just paper. Like, she's, there's nothing to her. Um, and Yuito is it's just kind of bland, too. And then some of the side characters, I guess, they're more interesting than the main characters, which is, I mean, kind of sad. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, it's 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 a, it's not a right game, but like I said, if you if you have nothing else to play and you're bored, go for it. But um, I wouldn't really get my hopes too high with this game. Uh, and if you have if you haven't played the games that I mentioned before, kind of near Automata or Persona 4 or Persona 5, even Persona 3, I've, uh, I haven't played it yet, but I've heard that it's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I recommend go play something else.